Yo, hey, so young boy, man, he uh just dropped. I guess you could call it like an interview on Billboard. Say he talk about fame, money, and uh changing his ways, basically, you feel me? Which is um I think it's a good thing, bro. I heard a little snippet of it. He sound like he opening up a little bit, you know. Which I also think is good. But look, get to my Twitch, Damaji9719. If you a young boy fan, I react to a young boy if you come over there and ask me instead of waiting on videos or whatever you want me to react to. It could be, I don't care. Just get there. Follow me. Damo G9719. Let's get into this young boy and see what he's talking about. I do want to feel positive about myself though one day. Like, alright, you did it. Nothing's wrong with you. You okay to walk this earth? Look at that view, bro. That, that, all that snow right there, bro. Like, goddamn, winter fest. When the winter fest is shit. Imagine how I look in the summer, bro. You're not a bad person. You're not someone who's fucking it up. I'm just curious on the man that I'm gonna become. I think I grew out of liking music, like, the love for it, but it's like, it's therapy, it's the only way I can express myself, and as I sit down behind the mic and just let things flow out of my mouth, I feel relieved, man, I was... Hey, look, I spoke on that before, um, when rappers say music is therapy, I feel like... They think it's therapy. Like, real therapy is really talking to somebody because y'all think young boy put 100% of what he feel in his music. Like, I feel like he hold some stuff back. But I don't know, man. Because when he dropped, like, a letter to you dump and shit like that, I'm pretty sure that was 100%. But that's beyond what I'm talking about, what's, like, really going on with, with him mentally. You know what I'm saying? And in his heart. Because if you think music is therapy, you you will really, really feel better about your life. But a lot of them don't feel better about their life. You know what I'm saying? But it were millions of dollars from the time I was 16 all the way to this point in my life. And I woke up one morning and I was like, damn, they got me. Man, look at the shit I spoke about. Look at the shit I put in these people's ears. Man, I feel very wrong about a lot of things. How many lives I actually am responsible for when it comes to my music? I'm Do y'all hear this shit, bro? This is what we call growth and development. You feel me? Uh, I was watching Vlad. I spoke on this a couple times, too. Vlad said some rapper basically woke up and was like, man, you know, imagine how many people I got basically going to kill other people because of what I'm saying. Popping pills because of what I'm saying. Drinking because of what I'm saying. But, you know, a lot of rappers don't take accountability, and that's what he's doing, bro. He understands he has that influence that he can make that child probably go pick up that gun and bust a nigga brain. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But no, nah, rappers don't think that because they think hip hop don't kill or hip hop ain't the problem or music don't influence kids or people. It ain't got to just be kids, just anybody, bro. This shit real accountability. I fuck with that. And it's coming from the right person. Kids and people have gotten a call or put this shit in their ears and actually went hurt someone. And now I'm sitting back like, damn, I can't do it all in one day, but I promise to clean whatever I can clean, but it's going to take time. That's a real shit, bro. That's a real shit, man, to say what he's saying. Like, he going he gonna to do what good he can do. 
why he here, why he in the music industry. You know what I'm saying? I fuck, I'm fucking with it, bro. I actually want to get rid of all of these cars. I can't drive any of them. I think I'd rather just fill my garage with antique cars until I do get a little freedom where I can double back and purchase some of these where I can have my fun in. And that's my accountant. I was gonna say why he can't drive his cars, but he can't really go nowhere, right? And that's my accountant, Miss Quintana, making sure I handle the money I was blessed with properly. I can feel when he needs me to be that. And so that accounting hat, I take it off. Hey, y'all know what I like about your boy, bro? I think he is really a, like a nice person. <laughs> I think he really got a nice heart, bro. His shit is, is really like, as most people, his shit is more so like his environment, bro. You know how you got that cool nigga, like, man, he cool as hell, but don't fuck with him like that. You know what I'm saying? But he's cool. He got a good heart. He try, at least he try and have a good heart to the best of his ability. That's just what I get from looking on the outside, looking in type shit. I can feel when he needs me to be that. And so that accounting hat, I take it off when he needs me to be human when he needs somebody to talk to. Whatever he needs me to be, that's what I am for him. Therapy, that's therapy. Well, my grandmother was my everything. That was my protection, my comfort. This is my angel. Talking to his grandma, you know, just sitting there talking to his grandma, that's therapy. I'm pretty sure like, if he like, if he pray, or you gotta pray, I, like I'm just sitting in this chair, you know. I lost my grandmas too, so imagine I'm just sitting here just talking, even though they ain't responding, ain't listening. That's therapy, y'all. Learn to use that type of shit as therapy. Go to really talk to somebody. I'm saying this because I care, you know what I'm saying? My protector. So as she died, I seen like just this very big difference inside everything. Like he got a big heart. Like he love people. Like if he love you, he love you. You know what I mean? One of his good friends brought him over to me and I Hey, then he got too he got too many kids to just be a evil ass person, bro. You know people who like really, really love kids, sometimes I ain't gonna say hundred percent, but you know, sometimes are really good people, bro. He's good with kids, so he, he's good with the people that he's good with. And he bad with the people that he bad with, you feel me? One of his good friends brought him over to me. And after one session, he was just like, man, he doesn't really mess with nobody, but he like you. He like, I don't know what that is. So it was just kind of natural. Like, just our chemistry and our bond just kept growing and kept growing. And I consider him a brother. I'm not famous. I don't think about it. I just know a lot of people that know me, I guess. I'm terrified of people. <laughs> he said he got a lot of people that know him. He ain't famous, bro. A lot of niggas just know his name. A lot of women just know his name. And they so happen to like what he do. But he ain't famous. Yes. I'm terrified of people. I am very scared of people. Like all my kids. I am terrified of people. And I'm very shy. But I never knew why once I walk on the stage, I could get it done and leave. But I'm terrified of people. If you don't feel what he's saying, I don't know, bro. I like 100% understand what he's saying. He ain't saying he no bitch. He just saying... Trust no one. You don't know what a motherfucker intentions is, bro. And that's just one of my biggest things. I don't know what your intentions is. What you, what you on? What's to you? Who is that? Why you looking like that? I don't give a fuck if you in the grocery store. I don't give a fuck if you at church. I don't give a fuck if you at McDonald's drive-thru. People be on some other shit and you don't know. And you, it's like you always got to watch 
over your back. Even the closest ones to you, that's even scarier. You feel? People are cruel. It's like, we can't control ourselves. So you never know what someone will do you. Facts. Always, you know, knew what he was doing and what he had going on and his music and his buzz and and I uh, was impressed with what he achieved being from where we're from. And I mean, they, they are some of the hardest working people in the music business. I think his legacy will be himself. He's not gonna be compared to anybody. He's setting the tone and standing out by his work ethic. I always wanted to be a rapper. This was always my dream. I never had a plan B. This is what I was- Look at that fucking Shit like this be inspiration, bro. Look at that fucking house, bro. I've never seen in real life. I've never seen a house like that before, bro. Like, what the fuck is that? His living room or another room over there? His shit is like drunk. Like somebody literally drew his shit. Look at this pool right there, bro. Okay. This shit is a blessing, bro. This is you gotta be grateful for that shit, bro. For real. I'm becoming. That's what it was. You can't be on top forever. Facts. You know? There's always to be another artist. But there'll never be another young boy. I will not be provoked. I will not be broken. And I'm not going back to where I used to be. Growth and development, bro. Y'all hear him, bro? I just hope that this shit really, like, it's dead ass. Like, he ten toes about this shit. Stay ten toes about this shit. Don't let nobody trick you out your position. Don't let nobody trick you to get back on that bullshit, whether it's in music or it's outside of music. Anything, bro. Accept it or not, I ain't going back. I only get more groovy from here. Okay. Now that I walk out this door, it's gonna be a whole lot of doing. Well, y'all heard what he said at the end. When I walk out this door, it's gonna be a whole lot of doing. Fuck that talking. I mean what I say, bro. I'm finna actually make a change. I'm not just sitting here saying, oh, I'm gonna stop doing this and do that. Nah, I'm finna go do that shit. You feel me? Cause his last album, he said he was gonna stop doing what he doing in his music, right? And his last album, I don't think it was too much like no rah-rah shit about that type of shit for real, bro. But I hope he's still on that business. It seems like he finna stand on that business. I think he mean well. He's taking accountability. He growing up. He changing. And he wanna change how he present himself to people, to the youth, to whoever listens to his music and is influenced by the shit. Cause he know if he make that shit probably look lame, then the shortest be like that shit lame. We try and get money now. We ain't, we ain't on that. I ain't trying to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. I want to be happy. You know what I'm saying? But let me know what y'all think of this young boy, man. I think it was dope, bro. What he was saying. Everything he was saying. Accountability. That's the biggest part. The growth and the accountability. Most artists, all artists should fall in line, bro. Try y'all best. It's not, it's not hard, bro. Y'all can make good music without the bullshit, bro. These kids is watching y'all, bro. Say the kids. You know what I'm saying? But catch you on the next reaction.